Hey everyone, and in today's video we'll be covering this week's exciting announcements and news from Orlando, Florida. We'll be covering news from your favourite theme parks such as Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando and Busch Gardens. So if you enjoy this style of content, don't forget to smash subscribe so you can stay up to date with what's happening here in Orlando, Florida. So let's dive right in. Our first story is right out of the most magical place on earth, Walt Disney World. And it's all about Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Final group of critters are set to rock Tiana's celebration during the Mardi Gras season. We're on the edge of our seats as we eagerly await the grand summer opening of Tiana's Bayou Adventure at the Magic Kingdom Park. Please Disney, just give us an opening date as we gear up for an unforgettable adventure and step into an enchanting musical tapestry of the Bayou and New Orleans. And we've already caught a glimpse of the critters jamming to the Zydeco tunes and grooving to the Ra Ra rhythms. Now brace yourself as we introduce you to the sensational critters who infuse the Bayou with the vibrant sounds and rhythms of Afro-Cuban music. And here is the last group of the four critters you're going to meet on your adventure. Philippe the Frog Deep among the cypress trees, you'll hear the band leader Philippe making music magic on the piano. Philippe is also the proprietor of an exclusive Bayou nightclub where the local fireflies love to dance the night away to a musical recipe of hot rhythms and spicy melodies. He's an old school family guy, especially to his family in the band. Up next is Myra the Frog. Have you ever seen a frog play the flower blossom like a trumpet? Well, you will when you meet Myra. Be sure to stick around for one of her toe-tapping solos. Myra is one of the most ambitious of the four frogs and has been practicing her instrument since she was just a little tadpole. Up next is Mondo the Frog. Mondo is a natural on the conga drums, which he made as a happy accident when his favourite bottle cap got stuck on his second favourite acorn. From there, the rhythm of Mondo's soul took over. He's very copacetic and accepts what comes, a trait as steady and reliable as his drum beat. And our final frog on this adventure is Isabella the Green Tree Frog. Learning from Mondo's example, Isabella loves getting lost in the music, playing her congas. She's the youngest member of the group and there's nothing she loves more than going with the flow and getting to play the drums all night long. So that was the last four characters that have been added into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So we've been told by Walt Disney. From Zydeco to Rara to Afro-Cuban jazz, you'll hear all kinds of musical flavours from critters big and small around the bayou. Just like you would walk in the streets of the French Quarter in the Crescent City. Of course, not everyone you'll meet in the attraction is a musician. Among others are a couple of ambitious friends who love to sit back and relax and catch up on all the gossip from around the bayou. Gloria and Dilo. Loris, the frogs are best friends who love to observe folks as they float in the logs down the bayou. Don't be surprised if they keep their watchful eyes on you as you float by. Also keep an eye out for Larry the Armadillo. This mischievous fella, while quiet in demeanour, seems to always show up where you least expect him to. I hear he has a habit of borrowing things that aren't his, although those things eventually make it into the right paws. So yeah, that's all the characters now announced apparently a little bit worried about the last one maybe zip up them pockets but that's not all that's been announced for Tiana's Bayou Adventure this week we got to dig a little deeper into Tiana's story yes we got introduced to two new stores coming to Tiana's Bayou the Critter Co-op and Tiana's Bayou General two retail locations coming very soon and here's a sneak peek of both retail outlets also so as well, Walt Disney took delivery of Tiana's new delivery van which will be located in the switchback of the attraction. This vintage truck looks absolutely awesome and I cannot wait to see it for real. We're getting so much information now about Tiana's Bayou Adventure, we have to be coming close to an opening day being announced. And if you're wondering what our thought process on the opening day is, watch this video right here. 
So let's move over now to Bush Gardens Tampa. Bush Gardens has finished a full layout of its brand new attraction, Phoenix Rising, located in the Pantopia area next to Falcon's Fury. This family friendly inverted roller coaster manufactured by B&M, which has replaced the former Sand Serpent and Phoenix attractions and will be a great addition for the young ones in your family, with height requirements as follows. Minimum rider height 42 inches and a max rider height of 77 inches. Are you ready for the excitement to soar above the Serengeti plane and drop into fun-filled twists and turns on the new Phoenix Rising? Packed with surprises and speeds of up to 44 miles per hour, it's the perfect adventure for families to embark on. Let your imagination and your adrenaline soar as you feel the rush of the wind and frills of flight. We are yet to see the ride vehicle being placed on track, but I'm pretty sure this will be happening real soon. And there's still quite a bit to be done over at the station section of the new attraction and landscaping, but it's moving fast. So I'm sure the fences will be going up soon, landscaping will be starting and the train will be doing its testing. Our next story is massive and is all the way from Universal Orlando, adding a combined total of 1,500 guest rooms to the destination hotel's portfolio. Universal Stella Nova Resort and Universal Terra Luna Resort invites guests to stay amongst the brilliant galaxies and planetary surroundings. The two new resorts are brought to life by the award-winning Universal Creative Team and co-owned and operated by Lowe's Hotel & Co. And the good news is guests can book now. Reservations and vacation packages at Universal Stella Nova Resort opening January the 21st, 2025 and Universal Terra Luna Resort opening February 25th, 2025. But this is just the start. As if you're thinking of booking, you will want to see where you're going to be staying, right? Well, we got this week the first look of both resorts and wow, they are stunning. And I'll pop the video right here so you can check both resorts out. The hotels are designed with galaxies and diverse planetary elements for an experience unlike anywhere else in the universe. Complete with tranquil sleeping accommodation, eating amenities for the whole family to enjoy, various cosmic inspired dining options and so much more. The ultra modern and surreal guest rooms of Stella Nova Resort and Terra Luna Resort provides even more options for guests to experience all the jaw-dropping thrills of a universal Orlando vacation at an affordable price point, starting at $147 per night plus tax. Based on a stay of four nights or more, Universal Stella Nova Resort is a place where guests will take off for amazing adventures at the theme parks and touch down for relaxation and recharging between the fun designed to reflect infinity and vastness of the universe, where galaxies spiral ever outward and unknown worlds revolve around unnamed stars. This hotel is highlighted in serene teals and calming purples and instantly puts guests at ease. The Terra Luna Resort presents another world within Universal Orlando, inviting guests to explore the unknown and step onto planets that have yet to be discovered. Here, guests will find themselves in the midst of an extraordinary landing zone within an awe-inspiring solar system, accented with fresh surroundings and terrestrial greens and golds. Both resorts offer 750 double queen guest rooms that comfortably sleep up to four guests and feature spaceship styled windows. Both resorts will also include the following, a variety of unique dining options for guests looking to have a meal or grab a quick snack in between visiting the parks. Cosmos Cafe and Market at Stella Nova Resort and the Omega Cafe and Market at Terra Luna Resort. 
these quick serve restaurants feature made to order American classics for breakfast, lunch and dinner, plus a selection of grab and go items. Galaxy Bar and Galaxy Grill at Stella Nova Resort and the Moonrise Bar and Moonrise Grill at Terra Luna Resort. Guests can enjoy burgers, quesadillas and salads at these walk-up service pool bars and grill. Plus, guests 21 and older can purchase cocktails, beers and wines with a valid photo ID. The Nova Bar at Stella Nova Resort and the Luna Bar at Terra Luna Resort, each hotel's lobby bar, will offer speciality cocktails curated with unique ingredients along with some classics. But that's not all. Both resorts will offer amazing amenities. Resort style pools. Each hotel features nearly 10,000 square feet of pool with a relaxing hot tub, comfortable lounge and tabletop seating in the pool area a fire pit and more plus the whole family can enjoy the resort's recreational activities like poolside movies and outdoor games there will also be fitness centers where guests can take advantage of the complimentary state-of-the-art fitness centers featuring a variety of strength and cardio equipment and locker rooms with showers available for use on arrival and departure days games room guests of all ages can enjoy a variety of standard arcade and video games in the hotel with the dedicated games rooms both hotels will each feature recreation rooms each hotel features approximately 1,000 square feet of multi-purpose space for small gatherings also you'll find Universal Orlando Resort stores where guests can purchase everything from sundries to necessities and even Universal Orlando merchandise to commemorate your vacation and there'll also be exclusive benefits but for more about this head to our website which covers everything that's happening here in Orlando Florida gargoorlando.com now let's head right back over to Walt Disney World for our last two stories. As part of the ongoing transformation of Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, 1900 Park Fair has a newly refurbished look with the same grand charm. You may meet characters from classic Disney films as well as newer favourites like Encanto and Princess and the Frog. Each character is known for making a wish and making their wish come true. You'll see none other than Princess Tiana in her new look for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Plus, you will have the opportunity to meet Aladdin, Mirabelle and Cinderella. Feast on delectable dishes, some inspired by Disney wishmakers like Aladdin and Tiana. Start your day with classic breakfast foods like Eggs Benedict. At dinner, get a taste of New Orleans when you try Tiana's gumbo. Some flavorful favorites await you at breakfast and dinner, including the Grand Floridian strawberry soup and a carving station full of savory selections. The menu also features kid-friendly options like Mickey waffles for breakfast, as well as chicken dippers, pizza and macaroni and cheese at dinner. Be sure to look for Big Bertha, turn of the century organ from France that has been at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa since 1988. Hungry guests returning to the restaurant will discover plenty of new bites as well as returning favourites coming back. Coming back to this all you care to enjoy restaurant for breakfast and dinner. But if you want to check out what's on the menu, I'll pop them on the screen right now. Just hit pause and the pricing is as follows. Starting off with breakfast, adults is $54 and for a child is $34. Moving on to dinner, adults is $66 and children are $41. You will have to add tax and gratuity as well. Then finally today we are bringing you the news of significant changes to Walt Disney World's Disabled Access Service, aiming to address the misuse and ensure fair usage for all guests. The new system will be introduced 
on May the 20th, 2024, and they will be teaming up with Inspire Health Alliance to help cast members determine eligibility. The Disability Access Service, otherwise known as DAS at Walt Disney World, exists to assist guests who struggle with traditional queues due to disabilities. Disney is introducing a revamped DAS system to combat misuse, enhancing the park's experience for all visitors. The new system is for individuals with developmental disabilities. The new system has extended the enrollment period from 60 to 120 days and restricts party size to four guests. These changes aim to ensure that the DAS benefits for those who really need it, enhancing the park's overall experience for all visitors. Disney's modification to the Disability Access Service at Walt Disney World underscores a commitment to fairness and inclusivity, ensuring that this valuable resource is available to those who truly require it. Disney has seen the system being misused and this is the cause of extended wait times in the Genie Plus and Lightning Lanes, which takes up a large quantity of the available Lightning Lane inventory. So what will happen if you misuse or mislead? Disney has laid out a zero tolerance policy for guests found to have provided false statements during the DAS acquisition process. Disney emphasizes that if any statement made during the DAS application are found to be untrue, the guests will face permanent prohibition from Walt Disney World. Yes, you can be trespassed. In addition to the entry ban, any previous purchased annual pass, tickets and other park products and services will be forfeited without possibility of a refund and ensuring fair access for those who truly require the assistance. Now if you want to see how to apply for the DAS or any of the stories we have covered today, head over to our website. I will pop a link in the description down below to each story. So these are our top stories of the week. Stay tuned as there's more to come. What are your thoughts and opinions about all the news that has been released over this past week? Comment down below as we love to hear your thoughts. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell and share with your friends and family as this really helps our channel grow. Don't forget to check out our website that covers everything that's happening here in Orlando, Florida. GalagoOrlando.com Want to support our channel? We have Patreon. The link is in the description down below. And get a shout out just like the SC Adventures family. Now get out there and go and make some memories. And all I can really say now is TikTok. Gotta go. Gotta go Orlando guys. And don't forget about these two videos right here.